my new wireless microphone. There's actually two of these microphones with the set. And the one I was using, I just realized the red light was flashing. So I think the battery was low. So I swapped. This one looks okay. But I might have to do a voiceover for the previous bit of video. So this is the voiceover. Showed you I picked this one up in the charity shop. I tried all my 2.7 gigahertz transmitters. None of them actually talk to it. So what we're going to do is take it apart and see if we can swap it for... I have some 27 megahertz receivers. I have quite a few, actually. Yeah, little little clamshell or crab shell or something controller it should have. It only goes left and right. So it's very simple controls. And I happen to have quite a few um, 27 megahertz receivers. The question will be, can we actually squeeze one inside? Here's one of the ones that I've got handy. I've wired it up so we can actually check it works. I've no idea what car it came from, but it's one that I've changed out. The writing on there actually says FB with an X, telling me that this is one I've taken out because the forwards and backwards doesn't work. It is a 27 megahertz one. So if I plug a battery into it, you see the lights come on. Happens to be a color changing LED. And if I use my 27 hertz, 27 megahertz transmitter, this one is connected to the left right control. And as you can see, it's bouncing around, so it works. Uh, being as we're doing a voiceover here, um, I can't tell you the finer details of what's going on. Suffice to say, that receiver will do all we need it to do. Uh, I think what I'm actually telling you is two of those transistors in there, which are the H-bridge, are burnt out for the forwards-backwards. But that doesn't matter, because we only need left and right. So, we will take it apart. It is virtually identical to the one I was working on a few weeks back. That was the one that was uh, autonomous. <laughs> um, had, motion, uh, had sensors on it, so it could tell when it's going to bump into something, and it would reverse direction. So at least that means I know how to get in. There seems to be quite a few different versions of these crabs with different facilities or features. I will just say there is nothing wrong with my new wireless microphones i just had completely forgotten to recharge it i do have a playlist for my crab related videos so that'll be in the video description so that's the motor on the right hand side that black assembly there and then that's our 2.4 gigahertz receiver which is tiny compared to the one that i want to try and fit in there but i do manage to squeeze that other one in eventually rather foolishly what i did decide to do was leave the original receiver in there because that controls the LEDs and it also gives us the sound effects. 
which is that uh, Baby Shark song. I regretted leaving it in there, I can tell you that. But that's what I do. I actually leave it in there. So the um, LEDs work. And the song or the music is played. And I just run the uh, power for the new receiver in parallel with the power for the old receiver. And link up the motor to the new receiver. Oh, you can see the lithium ion battery in there, the blue battery. So if all goes wrong, I've still got a cheap lithium ion battery that works perfectly all right. And a little motor and gearbox. Yeah, luckily for you, you can't hear it singing the song at the moment. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about whether to leave that in there or not. And I make, <laughs> I make the wrong decision. I leave it in there and it still plays the, uh, still plays the Baby Shark song. At first glance, you think there's plenty of room, but there isn't, because you can see that shaped bit of orange plastic, that takes up all the space. But there's just enough room on the left-hand side as we're looking at it now. There you are. I've actually squeezed it in just to demonstrate, but it will go in there. That's where all those wires are hanging out from. And so that was a bit of a surprise to actually be able to get it in there. But there it is. So I will swap the wires over. I've moved the wires over, resoldered them. So it's the blue and white wires are the ones that go up to the motor. And the red and black I've paralleled up with the existing red and black on the existing receiver. That's our power feed. Again, you are lucky you can't hear it playing Baby Shark. All up together. All fitting in. There is a bit of a gap there. Or I've had to squeeze it in under the case. So, <laughs> yeah, maybe we don't want the microphone. Maybe I should have disconnected the microphone. <laughs> Still, there we go. It works. 
with both receivers in there. 27 megahertz to actually control it and left the old receiver in there because that's got the music chip on it for what it's worth. Oh, and also it flashes the LEDs in the um, claws. Done. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment so I know how I'm doing. And somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.